in Napanee, Indiana here on Newmar's campus. I'm going to show you and walk you through the Mountain Air 4118 for the 2022 model year. You'll see a couple of fun features on the exterior and you're going to see all the luxury and power inside as well. So starting out here, you're going to see our front cap here. So you're going to see our massive windshield here, which gives you perfect viewing of the road. As we touched on inside, you're going to see your mobile eye here. You're going to see that it comes with your comfort drive steering and passive steer along with your front camera as well. And then you're going to have your new Mar badge here as well. Um, something that when we walk around the coach, you're going to see these gray strips here. Those will eventually be removed, but it's going to come with uh, stainless steel around the edging. Working our way back here, you're going to see your side cameras. So these are actually going to come with uh, auto defrost. And then you're also going to have your side camera right here on each one. As I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and explore the difference of the 4118 Mountaineer. I'm going to go ahead and point out this little number right here. So 41 is going to be the length of the coach and 18 is going to be the floor plan. This coach is uh, going to be on our Spartan chassis exclusively. There is another option. And then what you'll see here is going to be our special exterior graphics. So you're going to hear me talk about throughout the video some specials, some standards, and some options. So here at Newmar, we actually like to pride ourselves on giving the customer everything that they need to custom design their coach. So as they're doing so, you can obviously pick from one of our four standard exterior paint graphics, which is going to be um, the Hamden, the Avalon, the Ibis, or the Beckford for this year. But this one went ahead and specialed in some special colors on the outside. That is going to be an additional cost, but obviously it looks really slick and sexy as it's going down the road. You're gonna see that our slide outs are out right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw your attention here. So what you're gonna see is this is going to be a flush close. So it's gonna be recessed in and it's not gonna overlap or anything like that. It's gonna be a nice soft close so that you know mitigates any wind coming through the coach or any heat coming out as well. We're gonna go ahead and walk through a couple of features as well as our powered bays, our door, windows, and then something too is going to be your um, safety lock here. So you're going to be able to put in a customized pin and then you're also going to have a doorbell that you can ring if you want or do so. But this is everything that you can have which just again enhances your safety, allows people to come and instead of knocking on the door they can ring your doorbell as well. Moving this way, before we get into the bays, you're going to see an option in exterior entertainment system. So this can come in and out, move around, we'll put it back in, comes in, comes out again, and that's just going to be a Samsung TV along with a Bose sound bar. What you're going to see over here too is obviously this is off right now, but you can either turn the Bose sound bar to your TV, what's playing, whether that's the big game or a movie, or you can go ahead and put it on the dash radio. So whatever is playing over the dash on the inside, you can actually put out here on the exterior entertainment system. Along with that, you're going to have a couple of outlets and USB ports as well. Again, that's optioned in, that does not come standard. Opening up bay one here. So as I said, these are going to be uh, power unlocked. So there's going to be a button inside that, you know, allows you to unlock and lock right by the passenger door. Um, let's say for whatever reason that's not working, um, you can go ahead and use your keys as well. But what we're going to see here is new for the 2022 year is actually going to be a shelf above your freezer. So that actually wasn't originally there, but that is now open and that allows for a couple of outlets back there as well. And this is going to come out and fully extend. There you go. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our Dometic freezer here. And something that's really cool is um, on the side here, you can actually go ahead and play with your controls and you can set it to the exact temp that you want. So if you want both to be, a, um, you know, the temperature of a fridge, you can do that. Or if you need to keep some freezer meat out here um, for the big game, you're grilling, you can do that as well. Just focusing on bay two here. So what you're gonna see is this full pass through tray. So they actually opted it in, it's gonna be powered so they don't have to manually do it. You just go ahead and simply push this out. And as far as this extends out on this side, you can equally do it on the off door side and it will go out to the same depth over there as well. So like I just said, it goes all the way through on both sides. It can extend out on your door side, off door side, and it's gonna have the power on both sides as well. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. And as we're focused over here, I wanna go ahead and mention a couple of things on our construction. So something that Newmar prides ourselves on is going to be our star foundation, which our Mountaineer just happens to be built on. So with that, it's gonna be strong, true, and robust. And basically what that means is, you know, when you're building a home or a coach, you're building on that foundation. You have to have that strong foundation for you to have, you know, a successful and safe ride or, you know, anywhere to put your family. So moving in here a little bit, we're gonna bend down here. So what you're gonna see is this diagonal trust. So that is part of your, um, star foundation and what that does is that takes any movement or vibration and that slowly takes everything to the center of your coach so that just enhances all of your safety features that takes away from any vibration or movement in the coach and again that just enhances a quieter and safer ride for you and as we just touched on a couple of construction things I'm gonna go ahead and point out this right here so you're gonna see this um, block insulation foam here we actually do this not only just on our side doors here but also underneath um, the floor here so that's something that Newmar does I can't think of a couple of manufacturers that also do it with us maybe a couple but basically that just provides warmth in your bays and obviously you have your LED lights that come on as well so this tray is going to be um, powered it's going to have a pull handle out but as you can see this is kind of extra wide here it all again is decently deep it's not a pass through but that's easily accessible for you and then as we touched on the inside, the central vac system, it's actually gonna come out here to your road vac, and that's where you're gonna access all that dirt and grime. And then moving on to the block, next bay here, we'll open it up. So this is just gonna be your pegboard. Again, maybe you have some tools or a toolbox and you wanna put them up here. Um, my mother-in-law actually has a pegboard for all of her crafts. So although I wouldn't put pens and pencils out here, that is another idea you could do as well. So later on in the video, what you're gonna see on the inside is I'm gonna demonstrate how to open and close our egress door. But um, obviously you want to keep it open for the purpose of you being able to see it and how it extends all the way down to the ground um, and how you can put that up. So it's gonna come back out. You're gonna push that in. And then you're gonna have Velcro straps right here. And that's gonna come and close and then you can go ahead and close it and then your last bay here is actually going to be your two chassis batteries and then I didn't open up this bay right here because of the ladder purposes but what it's going to be is going to be your depth tank and it's actually going to be a dual fill so you can do that on both sides of the coach and that wraps up the door side. So we're gonna go ahead and take you around the rear of the coach and over to the driver's side. Highlighting a few things here on the rear of the coach. What you're gonna see right here in front of me is gonna be your rear view camera. So as we talked about on the inside, you're gonna have that 360 view of your coach. So that has you access if you're towing anything, whether that's a car or a trailer, um, that is accessible inside. You're also gonna have your engine access back here. You're gonna have your Spartan tow hitch. And then underneath, you're gonna see your really slick looking Newmar badge plate going down the road. Moving to the off door side here, you're gonna have your side radiator. Um, on the door side, um, it looked a little different, the def tank, but this is also gonna be your dual fuel def tank. And then as we talked about earlier, you're gonna have the slide out there out but now you're gonna see that it's gonna be that flushed exterior here. So that doesn't overlap or anything. Again, it's gonna be that flush look. Moving into your next bay here, you're gonna go ahead and have your waterwork system. So you're gonna have a nice stainless steel plate here, which just gives it a really nice clean look. Um, along with that, you're gonna have a couple of directions up here. So it's really easy and simple to use. You're gonna have your gray tank rinse and your black tank. You'll have your RV Santa Con on and off switch, switch, which you'll have to turn on if you're using your gray and black over here, which again, it's um, instructional. You're gonna have a little panel right here, which can show you your level tanks. You're gonna have a outdoor shower, so you can remove that head, bring it out. Let's say you've been at the beach all day or hiking and you don't wanna take all that dirt and grime inside. This is super nice to clean off with. Um, you're also gonna have your um, 
supply water hose right here. So that's going to be your city water or our tank fill connection. Moving into the next bay, you're going to have your power rewind wheel. So this is going to be a 50 foot cord. Basically, you're going to pull that out and that's what's going to be um, connecting to, to the campground. And this is actually going to be powered. So we're just going to drop it and it's going to rewind itself back up. Continue on down the line, you're gonna have your Oasis chin hook um, heating system here. So new for the 2022 year is gonna be a dual loop. So you can go ahead and heat up two or three zones here. Back through here. So just as we demonstrated on the other side, this is gonna be that full pass through tray with that um, 1,000 pound capacity. So as we just said, there's going to be another battery out here. So we're gonna go ahead and extend it on this side. Just as we did on the door side, we're gonna do, be able to do it on the off door side. And we'll just put that back in. Again, this is optioned in, this does not come standard. This is gonna be where your um, house batteries are. So you're gonna have eight of those um, to, if you, for whatever reason, had to pull this out, obviously there's that clamp right there, but you're gonna notice these pins. There's one on each side. To be able to pull that out, you have to release the both pins and then it'll unlock for you. Otherwise, it's gonna stay locked. Right here, you're gonna have your um, diesel tank here. So again, that's gonna be a dual side fill. So you can do it over here on the off door side. And then wrapping up our bays, is gonna be bay one on the off door side. So essentially, this is gonna be all of your electrical control panels. So. Um, you're probably not going to have too much to do with your switchboard, but um, if you ever go into service, this is where it's going to be if they ever ask questions. And the last thing I want to touch on on our exterior here, and we're going to be focusing on the door side, is going to be our awning package. So um, those two awnings up top are going to be our Gerard awnings, those come standard. And then along with that Gerard package, um, a couple things you're going to see are going to be our slide out awnings. You're also going to have your window awnings with the um, slide out covers. And then along with that package, you're actually going to have a entry door awning as well. What you're going to see on the inside of the Mountaineer 4118 is you're going to see luxurious features along with a lot of power. So starting out, we're going to come and feature and focus on our cockpit here. So moving into here a little bit, we're going to go ahead and touch on our captain seats. So for this year, they're going to be our Villa Comfort um, furniture. Our Passenger seat is actually going to be a standard queen size. It is power recline and also comes with a footrest. Touching over here, staying on our passenger side here, you're gonna see a workstation. Um, you're gonna see this passenger navigation system monitor over here. So essentially if your driver is wanting to focus a little bit more on the road and they just need a little bit of help, that is here for you and your safety. You'll see a cup holder and then a nice little wireless charging port right here as well. Moving over here to our driver's seat, which you're going to be spending a lot of time in. Again, the captain seat is going to be um, powered and reclinable. These captain seats are also going to come heated this year as well. So focusing in here a little bit, we're going to go ahead and touch on our dash area. So what you're going to see in front of me first and foremost is going to be your shades. So you're going to have your nightshade and then a day shade. Obviously that just keeps co things cooler in um, your cockpit area and then the coach as a whole. New for this year is going to be our 10 inch Xite radio dash as well with a 360 camera. You can obviously see this working. This is showing everything behind us and then obviously you can customize that to see the sides of you, front of you, and again the back view. Up here you're going to go ahead and have a push start ignition. Um, obviously you still will get keys in case you get locked out or forget your entry code, but that push start is going to be really nice. So again, as long as the keys are in here, you'll be good to go. Over here, you're gonna have a digital monitor in front of you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and touch on a few things. Um, just a little bit of our safety enhancement features. So something with the Mountaineer you're gonna get this year is going to be our tire, tire pressure monitoring system. You're gonna have adaptive cruise control with collision mitigation system, which allows you to follow at a distance of three seconds, 3.3 or 3.6. Um, it's also gonna have mobile eye, which you can see right up here. 
This is just gonna be your lane tracking system as well as your lane departure. And that mobile eye is actually gonna come and give the driver um, haptic feedback. So let's just say the driver, you know, you've been driving for eight hours, maybe you're crossing a lane, the seat's gonna vibrate for you and it's just gonna let you know that, hey, we're passing through lanes here. Continuing to focus up here, your um, steering wheel is going to have comfort drive with passive steer. So just to touch on our comfort drive, basically what that means is as you're driving down the road, you know, your hands are 10 and two and you're kind of rigid a little bit because the crosswinds or maybe something in the road is pulling you different directions. What this comfort drive is gonna do for you is basically just make the drive more comfortable. So essentially what's gonna happen is it's gonna take and register all those crosswinds and it's going to adjust for you. That way you're not having to move and push it back or pull. And that way you're a little bit more relaxed and you're not so rigid as well. Um, staying up here a little bit, again, I wanna to touch on is uh, electronic stability control. You're also gonna have your hydraulic leveling system, which comes with an air braking um, leveling system as well this year. You're gonna have a nice power driver window. You'll have a wireless charging port along with two cup holders. And then you're going to have our, underneath the shade here, um, I'll pull it up for you. You're gonna have our JBL sound system throughout with 11 speakers. And then down here, you'll see your owner support. So your owner support, if you're on the road or anything and you have any questions about your coach, how it works, maybe you're stranded at 2 a.m., you just need help, you can give that number a call and they'll be available 24 seven. It might not be your specific brand specialist on the weekends, because obviously it's the weekend, people have families, have lives, so that'll rotate around. But if needed, you can call them and they'll be able to help you out. Remaining focused here in our cockpit, um, I know I mentioned that we have our new 10 inch monitors this year. Um, something else that I wanted to touch on is going to be our navigation system. So new for this 2022 year is going to be our Navingo system that takes out the Rand McNally. So something you can do is you can actually type in your coach's dimensions and that navigation system is gonna go ahead and take those dimensions and find the best route for you. That way you can avoid you know, any major highways or any off-roading um, that might not be comfortable with your coach and its length. Up here just above the um, driver's seat is going to be your control panels. So as we open this up here, um, you're gonna see a ton of things for your awnings, your lights, drapes. You're gonna have your slide outs. And then something up here is also going to be our new silver leaf panel. So with this, you can do a ton of different things, but just to touch on a few is going to be your, um, you can control your climate, check your battery and generator, and then also some of your tank levels as well. And you'll notice the soft closed doors as well and cabinets. Behind me, you're gonna see standard is gonna be our Samsung TV. Um, so obviously if you wanted to watch something in the living room, but someone else wanted to watch HDV or something, you can have both of them going while you're um, standing still at the campsite. Moving into the main living area of this coach, so I wanna go ahead and touch on a few things here. What you're gonna see behind me, obviously I mentioned earlier, is gonna be all the luxurious features. They're gonna look a little bit more high-end. They're gonna be very eye-catching. So this coach was optioned in with our Avalon decor. So you're gonna notice that with the furniture and your fa fabric on your valances as well. Your cabinets up here are going to be our glacier glazed maple hardwood cabinets. And I wanna go ahead and just point out the, our, our flooring here. Again, that goes with your decor package. This is actually going to be um, standard tile electric heated floors. So it's gonna be right underneath the tile and that just allows you um, heat throughout, which is gonna be super nice. What you're gonna see here on the slide out here is going to be a flush um, rubber strip. So essentially you're not gonna be able to trip if you're walking over here, but this is gonna be our more floor, which just is, like, extends the tile and the flooring out to our slide out so there's no carpet in the coach. Focusing on the furniture here, behind me is gonna be an 84 inch high to bed sofa. So this is able to be pulled out for a sleeper. And then you're also gonna have the 62 inch jackknife sofa over here. I'm gonna go ahead and point out a couple things over here. So first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate our KIB panels. So this helps with your lighting throughout the coach, but along with that is it's gonna demonstrate our televator across the room here. So we're gonna go back to our home button, click on systems, and then we're just gonna simply click TV lift up. You don't have to hold it or anything. And over here, you're gonna see that come up. So 
So as this moves up, um, you're going to have our super polished solid surface on top of it. You're going to have um, 110 outlets along with the USB. There's going to be two of both. You're going to have another KIV panel over here. Again, that works your lighting. So let's just go ahead and try some fun things here. So let's click on our kitchen lights. We're going to click those on. And those lights are going to come on. So it's super fun. And then you have your accent lights as well. We'll just keep turning on some fun things here. We'll do your overhead lights. And as you can see, everything just brightens up in here. Um, and again, that's all controlled by your KIV panel right here. And then you're also going to have your wall sconces as well. Moving in here, I'm going to go ahead and point out a fun couple of things in your kitchen area. So obviously you have your main living area, which is connected to your kitchen, which is going to be probably where you're spending a lot of time if you're not outside. So over here, you're going to have an optioned in Euro Booth Dinette. Um, this is non-sleeper, but something that is available to you is there's going to be cabinets underneath, and there's also going to be um, drawers on both sides. So you're going to reach underneath, there's going to be a clip. You're going to pull that out, and this is super extendable, so obviously you can see that this is pretty deep um, and a decently um, wide space for you. And again, that's on both sides. Staying focused over here, um, you're going to have, with your coach, um, you're going to come with a Numar brochure packet, so that's going to have anything from electrical to your bays, so on and so forth. Over here, you're going to see your oversized windows, which just allow for a lot of natural lighting in the coach, which sometimes doesn't make the lights in here necessary, if you're right in the right place. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and point out this. So something new you're going to see in our coaches are going to be these little QR codes. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull out your phone, you're going to take either your camera app or your scanner app, you're going to scan that QR code and it's going to take you to our website. And basically that's going to bring you to your mountain air specifically and it's going to show you all the different floor plans, the options that come with the coach, what comes standard, and just touch and highlight on a couple features just like our star foundation or comfort drive. And before we move into our kitchen here, now that you can see our televator is all the way extended here, it's also going to come with a Bose soundbar, which I just wanted to point out and highlight. Now as we extend into our kitchen, a couple of fun features you're going to see here is you're going to be able to option in a dishwasher below. If you choose to not option it in, say it's not a necessary need for you, um, it's just going to be another cabinet down here as well. Moving up here, you're going to see our, again, Glacier Glazed Maple Cabinets. So a couple things that I want to point out here, um, along with the soft closed cabinets and drawers is we at Numar do a lot of things in-house. So what you're going to see here is you're going to see everything in the cabinets um, is going to be made in-house here at Numar. You're going to see the hinges. We screw and glue those so it's nothing is stapled in. You're going to see um, almost like a carpet feel right here and that just ensures that your dishes are not moving around or clinging. Um, a couple other manufacturers, you're going to walk into their coach and on the ex you know, exterior of the thing, it's going to look really nice and pretty, but once you open it up, um, I almost ask you to go in and kind of play with it and tug on this a little bit, um, move it around and just see how Numar is different within our hinges and our cabinets. Um, that's something that's very little, but as we all know, the small things are the big things. Moving this way, um, along with a couple things that Numar is unique for is going to be our in-house solid surface countertops here. So these are all made in-house. I'm going to go ahead and touch on our flush tops here. So underneath you're going to see our all electric induction cooktop, which is an option that does not come standard. And then underneath these um, flush tops is going to be cutting boards. So that just takes away any extra storage um, that may you might need. So I'll put that back on. And then underneath a couple of cool things, you're going to see a large oversized kitchen window. You're going to see your Avalon backsplash here. And I'm going to go ahead and point out here too. So this isn't just going to be, you know, some flimsy material that we, you know, just glue on there. Um, actually, everything in-house is going to be grouted by hand by all of our guys. So they put a lot of work into pretty much every piece of this coach. Obviously, we outsource a lot of things, but everything is done with some special touch within Numar. Um, and then everything is pretty much handmade. So. Up here you're going to see your Whirlpool convection microwave. 
Again, you have more counter space, more countertops. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So what you'll see in here is going to be a um, slide out. So again, if you maybe have additional uh, cups or plates or anything that you might need that's available to you, there's also gonna be a um, 110 outlet up here as well if needed. Just below your countertop um, or your cabinets is going to be your stainless steel kitchen sink here. So it's just gonna be one, but it's massive. Um, we actually have a lot of people special this into different coaches. Um, this is a super um, wanted sink. And we'll go ahead and put your flat, flush countertop back on. You have your faucet. Again, your backsplash with our grout and another KIB panel here. Um, underneath, we'll just go ahead and open it up for you. So again, you're gonna have another um, tray to come out and then you're also gonna have your um, trash can as well. And staying focused kind of down here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and point out our central vac system. So that comes standard with the Mountaineer. Basically what that means is um, you're sweeping and you really don't want to keep, you know, a trash can or something. Some people just don't need that in here. You can sweep all of that dust and grime down into that central vac system. Um, it'll flip up, it'll turn on, take everything out, and it'll actually enter one of the bays outside for easy cleaning. And making our way here to the midship of our coach here. So you're going to see our residential fridge here. It's going to be a whirlpool again to match your microwave. And then you're gonna have your extendable freezer below. Again, there's just a ton of space underneath. And then on the outside here, you're also gonna see a water dispenser as well. Over here next to it on the left is going to be our pantry. So lights are gonna come on as you open it. And these are going to be pushed to release drawers. So you push in and it'll release and unlock. But as you can see, there's a ton of them and they're super um, long in length as well. And then you just push to close and you'll hear that lock. Just across our way here in our midship is going to be our midship bath. So I'll let you get in there and peek in. So what you're seeing here on camera is going to be our backsplash again, solid surface countertops, along with your um, toilet, your window, and then you also have your vent and fan up top. And then something that I'm going to go ahead and point out is you'll see that this door is um, a hinge door. So basically in-house, our guys decided, you know, when your slides are in and you're down the road, sometimes you need to use the restroom. So they made this easily accessible to you when the slides are in and you're moving that you can still get in and out without this door hitting anything and damaging um, your fridge or anything like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and focus on our master bedroom here in the Mountain Air 4118. So beside me on my right, you're gonna see again another KIB panel, which as we've touched on, it controls your lights in here um, along with a few other things. And then you're gonna see another silver leaf panel. Again, that controls, you know, or helps you look at your climate control your heated floors, any of your water tanks outside. Along with the silver leaf panel, you can actually download an app. And it's gonna be your system controls app. So basically you download, download that. It's compatible with Apple or Android. And basically that app is gonna do everything that you can do inside on the silver leaf outside as long as you're connected to your Wi-Fi. Back here, again, you're in your master bedroom. So maybe you want um, some privacy. You can go ahead and have your privacy doors. And those are just gonna open and close and lock in place for you. Focusing over here on your master bed. So a couple of things to point out here. Obviously everything is wrapped in plastic and you'll see that the bed is almost um, flat in the middle. That is for a couple of reasons here. So first and foremost, obviously these coaches get shipped out from Newmar and um, transported down to our dealers or retail customers. So obviously we're not gonna touch anything or make anything for these videos. This is all gonna be wrapped up and um, encased for the customer to have in perfect pristine condition and obviously super clean. With the mattress, this is actually going to be an option in Sleep Number Air Mattress. Um, so they option that in, which is why you kind of see a little deflated. But nonetheless, this is gonna be a king size bed. 
Back here, you're going to have windows on both sides of the bed here. You're going to have a super pretty, um, kind of luxurious headboard along with some mirrors back here. And then underneath, um, you're also going to have another KIB panel. So to touch on that again, um, obviously we've done a lot with the televator and the lights, but something new for 2022 is going to be an all lights off function. So say you're comfortable in bed and you forgot to turn off the kitchen lights, there's going to be an all life lights off function. You can just simply click that and no one has to argue about who's getting up or not. So, and then again, you're going to have a couple of cabinets up here. You can open them up. Um, a couple of them will have outlets in the back. And then underneath on the sides of the bed, we'll go ahead and open up a cabinet and I'll move out of the way, but there's gonna be additional um, 110 outlets along with the USB outlets as well. So if you need to plug in your phone, that's conveniently located. And we decided to put those on the inside of those cabinets because obviously you have your really pretty high gloss cabinets in here and we don't want to you know, take away from those. So instead of putting those on the outside, uh, we went ahead and tucked those away just for a nicer, sleeker, sexier look. Across from your king size bed here, again, you're going to see that flush slide out along with our more floor, which is actually a Newmar thing. So there used to be carpet um, a few years back and we decided to extend this out to the tile or extend the tile out to our slide outs here. Over here across from your bedroom, you're going to see your wards. So you're going to have two on each side along with six drawers underneath. We'll open one up so you can kind of see the length and how deep it is. You're going to have your egress window and then you're also going to have another Samsung TV back here for your um, entertainment experience. And then we're just going to go ahead and round out our interior here and finish in the master bath. So what you're going to see behind me is going to be your master shower. So this is going to have um, tile walls along with your tile floors. You're going to see these backsplash inserts, which again, they're going to be that grouted, which we touched on in the kitchen. And that backsplash is actually going to match the backsplash behind your sink over here, your vanity. So just giving it a really pretty and altogether sleek look. Along with the shower um, tile floors and walls, you're going to have a nice glass door that opens. There's going to be a little lock here. So again, if you're moving, you can open it up, slide that over, lock yourself, lock the door in. Um, and again, that just mitigates any collision back here. Behind me, you're going to see your assist handles. These are actually going to be optioned in. You're also going to have a foldable shower seat behind me. I'm actually just going to go ahead and sit down so you can kind of see everything going on behind me. Above me, you're going to see our shampoo, conditioner, and body wash dispensers. You're going to have a retractable shower handle head right here. And then you're also going to be um, just a standstill one up here, but the shower head can move as well. And then something you'll see right here is going to be our AquaView Miser system. So. This coach is going to come standard with that and basically just like if you're at home um, residential style you're going to go ahead and turn on that water and it's going to you're going to wait for the hot water to come on but basically at home the difference is is that's just going to continue to run down your drain and you're you know kind of wasting water in that sense here because you do have a limited amount of water or if you're dry camping this system is going to allow you to turn on your hot water it's going to allow you to wait for the hot water before it comes out and down the drain. And what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna cycle that water through a tube. And once that water is hot and it's ready, you can flip this back on and then the water's gonna come out. And then behind me is obviously going to be our vanity. We already touched on the backsplash back here, which again is going to be that grouted look, which we all do in house. You're gonna have your undermounted sink, your medicine cabinet, which both sides open up for just additional storage. Um, again, that's going to have that almost carpet feel. That way, if you have anything back here that maybe you don't want bouncing around, that's kind of going to help mitigate that a little bit. On this side, you're going to have a nice, tall, hanging ward. You're going to have the safe back here, and then you're also going to have that hanging rod. Um, these LED lights come on as you open up this ward as well. And then there's a ton of space in this bathroom, so I'm going to go ahead and point all of that out. Again, you're going to have some deep cabinets back here. 
a nice amount of sh shelf space as well. What comes standard over here is going to be our stacked washer and dryer. <coughs> so we're gonna go ahead and open that up for you. Open that up. And then again, you're gonna have more storage over here. And some down below by your, on the other side of your toilet, along with your egress door and then a nice window back here. So before we round out everything, I know we keep touching on our soft closed cabinets and drawers. So I'm gonna go ahead and point that out for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of, you know, whip this shut and it's gonna stop itself. So it stops and it does a nice, slow, quiet close. And then um, along with that, so you'll see up here is going to be our cathedral ceilings. So that is um, a new more specific thing. So it's something that we've, put into our master bathrooms. Obviously we have, you know, tall customers, taller people. My cameraman um, is actually going to be about 6'4 and he has a ton of head clearance. Um, if he stands right here in the middle where it's at its tallest point, he probably has a good, you know, eight to 10 inches ahead of him as well, so. And just because I briefly mentioned it earlier, again, you're gonna have your egress door back here in your master bath. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how to use this. So a couple of things here. You're gonna have your lock and unlock, so you're gonna simply unlock it. There's gonna be another lock down here, just as a safeguard, you're gonna unlock that one as well. Pull that black handle, and that's going to extend open, and it's gonna lock in place for you. This cover is gonna be magnetic, so you simply just pull that off. You can tuck it back here, out of way, and then take the Velcro straps, and basically you're just gonna take the ladder and drop it. There you go. So this ladder is going to extend all the way down. It's gonna have a max um, rating of 300 pounds. But a couple of benefits to this is obviously, um, first and foremost is gonna be your safety. So if for whatever reason something's going on in the coach, there's a fire um, and you need to get out, you can use this to do so. Um, a lot of competitors actually have a one-time use door. So if you have to use it, um, it's basically kind of ruined. You have to get it replaced. Along with that, you, the drop is kind of steep down here. Obviously we're on a tall motor home here. Um, you don't wanna to have to jump out. So you have that nice extendable ladder. Along with that, again, this is a 41 foot coach and let's say you're going on vacation, you're loading up, trying to get everything packed. Um, sometimes it's hard going in and out of just one door, your entry door. So this also can just be a benefit where you know you have someone down below loading things into the rear of the coach as someone is doing it in the front as well, so. Thank you for coming with me and exploring the difference of the Mountaineer 4118 for the 2022 model year. As you saw inside and outside, you're gonna see luxury and you're gonna see power with our Mountaineer. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact one of our Newmar dealers. They're there to help you and make this process as much fun and enjoyable as possible. And again, here at Newmar Sales, we're also here to help you. My name is Megan Stouder and we'll see you next time.